All right, so this video we're going to look at doing uh, what if analysis data tables. Uh, this will be a one variable. I'll have a separate video doing two variables. Uh, so let's just take a look at it. All right, so we want to buy a car. $25,000, $1,000 down payment. Here's the interest rate, the total years, and payments per year. All right. So what this does is this just calculates how much you would borrow. That does the, the cost of the car minus the down payment. This is your monthly interest rate because we're doing uh, payments per year is 12. So that'll be monthly. Uh, and that's the interest rate divided by the payments per year. Number of payment periods. So it's the total years times the payments per year. That's how many payments we'll make, 60. Uh, this is your monthly payment. This is using the payment function. I won't get into this too much, but that's just your rate, okay? That, so that's the 4% uh, the divided by 12. And then here we have the number of periods, which is 60. Okay, that's your uh, 5 times 12, and this is your payment, I mean this is, I'm sorry, this is the amount borrowed, which is the 24,000 here, and notice I have a minus here, that's because if you, if you don't put a minus when it returns the payment, it'll put it as a negative, and if you want it returned as a positive, you just put a negative in front, and then this you don't have to worry about, and then the, the zero or one is based on the type. It, it's if you want to pay at the beginning of the period or at the end of the period. Okay, that's about all I'll say about payment. I might do a separate video on that. All right, so this is the total to repay the loan. Okay, so that's going to be your your monthly payments times uh, times the number of payments, which is sixty. And then this would be your total interest that you paid. So that would be this total that you repay back minus the amount borrowed. Okay. So, you know, you might want to figure up different scenarios. Okay, what if I have a 5% interest rate? Or what if I do it for six years or seven years? Okay. Or you may want to say, okay, well, what if I make a $500 down payment? See, if we make a $500 down payment, it changes your your payments per year and the total that you repay back and your total interest and all that. Okay, well, you may not want to sit there and type all these different values in. So what you can do is create a data table. And so what I've done over here, and I, I've chose I've chosen to change the down payment. If you wanted to, you could change the interest rate or the number of years, okay? <clears throat> or you could you could uh, change the cost of the car, or whatever. Well, let's just look at the down payment. So I said, okay, well, what if I make a five hundred dollar down payment, a thousand, fifteen hundred, all the way down to three thousand, okay? And what I want to do based on these down payments changing. I want to know the monthly payment, the total that I'll repay back, and the interest total interest paid. So <clears throat> I'll make these columns. So I'll have equals, and I want to know the monthly payments. So I'll hit enter. And then here, I want to know the total to repay the loan. So I'll put that formula in there. And then I'll do the total interest paid enter okay so what we do now is we highlight the the area here and I go over here to data what if analysis and data table <clears throat> okay so you know the row you see the row input cell and the column input cell all right so we only have to worry about one of these because we're doing a one variable you would you would have to fill both of these in if you were doing a two variable which that'll be on another video all right so what value is changing well it's the down payments that are changing so that means 
I have my column input cell. Okay, so that's going to be the column because I have them in a column. If I had these going across a row, I would pick row. Okay, but I have them in a column. Now, what cell am I using to calculate the down payment? Well, that's this cell here where my down payment is. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick this cell here. Okay, and what it'll do is you won't be able to see it, but it'll it'll make all these calculations here. It'll like what it'll do is it'll, it'll like throw the 500 in there and calculate it and put it there. Okay, there and there, and then it'll throw the thousand in. Then it'll throw the 1500 in and do the calculations here. But you won't see this number changing. And then if we hit OK there's our values okay so this well let's go ahead and format the cell and we'll do it for we'll do currency okay and so here's your here's your values here okay alright and so these are the values and you can see the at a thousand dollar down payment see there's my thousand dollar down payment see how it matches the 442 and then it matches the 26 5 19, 79, and then this one well it just calculated it for each different down payment now this up here that's we're not I mean okay what is that we don't know well we know it's monthly payments so maybe we want to change this but if I just type in monthly payment, you see what happens? It gets rid of that, that formula is no longer there. So what you'll need to do to change the heading here is you will right click on it, hit format cells, okay, and we'll go here to, uh, I'm sorry, we'll go down here to custom, all right, and then we click on general and what you want to type here is the heading so that would be monthly payment all right and notice you put it in quotes and we hit OK let's widen this some there it is and there's monthly payment so I mean see it's still B10 is just showing you a label here of monthly payment and then you could do the same thing here uh, format cell I'll just I'll do I'll do this one and I'm sorry go to custom I'll just do this one and let's see go to general and this is uh, total to repay the loan and hit OK and there it is alright so I hope the video helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and watch the two variable uh, video and thanks for watching